Despite the happy facade out front, behind these ivy-covered walls of the West Side Eclectic lurks a nightmare. A sweatshop of starving artists run by this man. Hi, I'm so excited that you're here! Sicko. We warn you, what you're about to see may shock you. Come on, I want to show you. Come on! Come on! So we have live comedy shows six nights a week. Okay, so it's a comedy theater. So I would imagine you have regular comedians like uh, Don Rickles or Chuck Woolery. Well, uh, Don Rickles, I mean, he's a little bit older. And I think Chuck Woolery is a game show host. But, I mean, we, we have a lot of really talented performers. So you don't have Rickles or Woolery, yet you're a comedy theater. Interesting. What else? Well, we have a, a comedy training program uh, where we have several hundred students who are studying and, and learning about performing. Mm, students. Interesting. You know, Variety named us as one of the top spots in Los Angeles to scout talent. So, I mean, we're pretty happy about that. Okay, Mr. Campbell, isn't it true that you put up these performers on stage and ask them to amuse you and others? It was clear that Mr. Campbell was stonewalling me, so without permission, we took our cameras inside. What we found was truly horrifying. This is a stage where the students perform ungodly acts in front of an audience of onlookers. Above them, the glare of bright lights and sometimes loud, horrific music comes from that booth back there. It's just our tech booth. I mean, nothing bad happens. You need to get out of here. And look at this. This is some of the living quarters for the comedy slaves. This is actually just a green room for performers. There's okay, no this slaves. is my time, all right? We have reason to believe there are as many as four Mexican immigrant families and their dogs who I mean, occupy this that's, space. That's not, I mean, that's and the nightmare continues. Behind every door here, a new horror. Slaves living in squalor. I'm going to the bathroom. You can't smell it, but the stench in here is unbearable. In order to protect her identity, we interviewed this comedy slave in silhouette. Now it's okay. What we're going to do right now is what we call an interview. It's going to be recorded by a video recording device. Actually, I, I don't need this. I'm fine with being seen. Actually, we prefer that you be behind it, so. Can I, can I have my voice back? No, we'd prefer that you keep it. It sounds really cool. Now, I'm going to refer to you as Bruce. My name is Vanessa. Okay, Bruce. You're in a safe place now. Now, please, tell me, what do they do to you here? Well, they give me a fun, laid-back environment to perform and learn it. Can I, can I please have my voice back? This is driving me crazy. As you wish. Thanks. Anyway, I really like it here. It's great. You did great, okay? Clearly, Bruce had been brainwashed. But how? Through an extensive network of theater propaganda. And the man controlling that spin? Jamie Flam. Talk. Uh, we actually got a lot of cool new media outlets going on here at the theater. We got a website. We have our own blog. Uh, we have our own green screen production studio in the back. And uh, we're creating a bunch of original content that's going to be featured on our own broadband channel that'll be online this spring. So you're using the internet to further your cause? Yeah. Sort of like Al Jazeera. No, I, I think you mean Al Qaeda. It's the same thing, Jamie. Right. Well, the point is our performers here at the theater are working on original content that's going to be featured on our own website. You sick bastard. What? The evidence is clear. The West Side Eclectic, just a simple comedy theater? I think not. And if their prophecy of being the comedy channel of the next generation proves true, may God help us all. <laughs> <laughs>